Okay, welcome back. Let's make our Zumbinis and head to Zumbini Isle. Uh, let's see. There we go. Uh, okay. Okay, let's go. Oh well. There's a lot of choices for each trait, so... Uh... <laughs> Cute. Uh, next. Okay, now I know what you're thinking. This is going to be one of those trickiest puzzles, <coughs> puzzles you've ever seen. But really, all you have to do is uh, ensure that all the Zumbinis get over the cliffs. So, first thing you should do is watch how the wheels turn around. And it's basically not hard to figure out so, at first. So. Since I've seen this puzzle before, it should be no different. Okay. This puzzle does tend to get harder as you progress through the game, so. Oh, and may I remind you, there are 240 Zumbinis in total. We'll try to get to a ton of Zumbini Island, just so you know. 
So that means you'll probably have to do this like 20 times. 20 times. That's not a lot compared to the other two games. Which have to do like, I don't know, maybe 16 divided by, no, 16 to 25 divided by 16. What is that? I don't know. I don't know how I have a calculator with me. Oh, wait. I do. <coughs> yes! Congratulations! You've gotten all the Zumbinis up the cliffs of Zumbini Isle. Let's go. The fearless Zumbinis catapulted onto the cliffs and arrived at a wall with ancient hieroglyphs. The wall protected the towering Tum Tum tree. Leaves are the nutrition that the caterpillars need. Seriously, how do they come up with rhymes like that? Well, when we come back, we'll solve this puzzle. Okay? Bye. <laughs>